Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. This week's Fool is former Brexit negotiator and Brexit minister Lord Frost. Now he was interviewed by GB News about his former boss joining the channel. David said that this was great because Boris obviously needed a platform to talk about what he had achieved while he was Prime Minister. What has he achieved I hear you say? Well don't worry, Lord Frost has memorised the list. Have a listen to this. And finally, Boris Johnson joining GB News. How good is that? <laughs> it's, good, it's great. I'm, I'm very glad to uh, to see Boris given a, a kind of a, a platform to talk about um, what he's done. Uh, <laughs> what? What? Boris Johnson needs a platform to talk about what he's done. He was prime minister for a number of years. He could give interviews to journalists, top journalists, as he wished. Just call them up and say, I'd like to give an interview about what I have done. He had the House of Commons as a platform to talk about what he had done. And recently he was given a column in the Daily Mail to talk about what he had done. Why, how many Boris Johnson platforms are needed? And he will be, whatever his failings, and everybody has failings, he will be one of the most consequential prime ministers in this country's history. Took us out of uh, the EU for all the... Ah, oh God, it took us out of the EU. What sort of achievement is that? Really, if you ask importers and exporters, they'll tell you what sort of achievement that is. If you listen to farmers who can't access the workers they need, or any sector that is struggling to find staff, ask them how well Brexit is going. Young people who have lost the access to the Erasmus schemes, or the, the ending of freedom of movement. Ask these people about how well Boris Johnson has achieved his goals. The failings over the pandemic, we still got out of it sooner and had a less tough lockdown than many. We got out of the lockdown sooner and had a less tough one than many other countries. Of course, he's ignoring that Britain at one stage had the highest death rate in Europe. But he doesn't care about that. His focus is on the pandemic. He's part of one of these headbanger groups that believe that there shouldn't have been a lockdown. They would have preferred the pandemic to run right through the population. His leadership on Ukraine. All the His leadership on Ukraine. Boris Johnson's leadership on Ukraine. Now, the UK government deserves, deserves merit for uh, its work with, the United, with, with Ukraine and its partners following the Russian invasion, but also before that, is since 2014, the, the Ministry of Defence has been training and providing equipment to, um, to the Ukrainian armed forces, which has been very important. Ben Wallace deserves more credit than Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson was there for the photo opportunities. Ben Wallace was actually doing more of the heavy lifting. But when it, come to the, when it comes to the British government and Boris Johnson being in charge, well, have a listen to families who are trying to bring in refugees from Ukraine and the struggles they had. Those things will make him a figure in history where many of his critics will have long gone by. <laughs> it's okay. You could say the same about Kim Jong-il, okay? You know, his critics are all gone and, you know, dead and buried, but his legacy still lives on in the same way that Boris Johnson's legacy will live on long after I'm dead. <laughs> but that's not exactly something we should be talking about, really. You know, this, this isn't something that we should be holding up as a gold standard. <sighs> this is why Lord Frost is our Fool of the Week. See you next time for our next Fool of the Week.